In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to sign out of iMessage on your iPhone or iPad, focusing on the new update rolled out in 2025. Let's dive into these simple but essential steps to help you effectively manage your iMessage account on your Apple device. First, grab your iPhone or iPad and head over to the Settings app. Now, the Settings app can be identified by its grey icon with gears on it. It's usually located on your home screen, but you can also find it by swiping down and typing settings into the search bar. The settings app is your gateway to all the crucial adjustments on your device, so it's an important place to spend a bit of time getting familiar with. Once you've opened settings, you'll want to tap on your Apple ID at the very top of the list. Your Apple ID section is a personalized hub within your device where you can see your name and profile picture along with Apple ID settings. It holds all your Apple account information, allowing you to tweak settings for iCloud, iTunes, the App Store and other Apple services. By tapping on this area, you're one step closer to signing out of iMessage. After accessing your Apple ID settings, find and tap on iCloud iCloud is Apple's cloud storage and cloud computing service, which lets you store data such as documents, photos and music, alongside keeping your app and device settings synced across all your Apple gadgets. Once within the iCloud settings, you'll have access to a range of options for managing which services are influenced by iCloud, including our main focus today, iMessage. In the iCloud settings, you'll want to focus on turning off iMessage. You might be wondering why you'd want to do this. Well, turning off iMessage is the first step towards signing out. This will prevent your messages from being backed up on iCloud or synced across all your devices, giving you more control over where your chats are stored. To turn off iMessage, simply find the toggle next to it and switch it to the off position. If you've been receiving unwanted messages or need a break from constant notifications, this step is definitely useful. With iMessage turned off, all that's left to do is sign out. Head back to your Apple ID page. On this page, scroll down and you should see an option to sign out of your Apple ID. By tapping sign out, you will effectively be signed out of iMessage on this device, safeguarding your privacy and ensuring no further messages are sent to your account from this device. And that's all it takes. Signing out of iMessage on your device is a straightforward task once you know where to go and which settings to tweak. Regularly managing who and where you're signed in can help keep your digital life organized and secure. Thanks for tuning in today and make sure to subscribe if you found this useful. See you in the next video.